Sullivan Rain here, and are you folks ready for some destruction here? We're up in our second bedroom here. Uh, we've actually got part of it destroyed here already. We did that, was that a year ago now, I think? I think that was a year ago now when we uh, did the windows up, when we uh, destroyed that and uh, put the windows in there. So that wall is kind of destroyed already. But anyway, in this video, we're going to start by destroying the rest of this room here as well. And when I say destroy, I'm, I'm talking everything. Everything is going here. Uh, we're we're going to tear down the walls. We're going to rip out the wood. It's all going in the trash, burning it, whatever. But I am not going to leave anything left in this room. And at least in uh, today's video, we're going to start with the uh, lath and plaster here. Uh, we have lath and plaster on the ceiling and the walls, plus in the closet there. Uh, this room doesn't have it. That's just bare walls in that room there. And actually, that's the... Uh, well, for those of you seen me doing the insulation detail, that's where the insulation detail is in that room. Uh, so yeah, this wall oven, we're going to tear it down. We're going to take out the lath and plaster. Uh, let's see, so I might have to take off these baseboards here as well. Again, like I said, I want to go oven. We're going to throw everything away. I'm not save anything. Uh, I guess you could say, Evan, I've kind of learned my lesson from working on the rest of this house. Yes, Evan, I could take the time to fix some of this stuff, but the time it takes me to fix some of this stuff would be longer than me just tearing it all down and putting new up. So we're going to tear all the old out. We're going to put all new drywall in. Obviously, at the same time, Evan, we're going to redo all the electrical. Uh, we'll do all new wood here. Again, I mean, I, the wood here, probably nothing necessarily wrong with the wood, except it's been painted a couple times. You can see like over there as well, Evan. So the time it would take me to scrape it down and sand it and then eventually repaint it and I done. Burn it up and we're done with it. We are done with it. So uh, that's going to kind of be my approach probably to the rest of this house here as well. Uh, again, there's been a couple rooms where I'm like, oh, well, that looks like it's okay. We'll take the time to fix it. No, no, no. And the time it takes to fix that one is like astronomically longer than it would for me just to tear this all down and put new drywall up. New paint, new baseboards, a new, uh, new trim around the doors. That's all going. Not saving any of them. So anyway, let's get started here. Let me show you folks too. For removing the lath and plaster here, I think I've developed a pretty good method here for doing this. And I, I know I've looked up online, I mean, there's like a lot of different techniques here for removing lath and plaster. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do the method I'm about to show you here. And I'm gonna say I, mean, I think this is the best method as well. Uh, very minimal mess and relatively easy to remove. And for this removal method, Evan, we're going to be using an angle grinder here. Doesn't probably particularly matter what angle grinder you're going to use here. Uh, the blades I'm using, however, are 5 inch. So you probably need an angle grinder that's going to support a 5 inch blade. And I have tried a couple different blades, Evan, and so far these seem to work the best. So actually, you know what? I got one right over here. Uh, these are the blades we're using here. And I'll try to remember, maybe I'll put a link down in the description here for all this stuff I'm using. But these Makita blades seem to last the longest. I've tried the DeWalt one. And I tried one other one, I forget if it was Bosch or, I don't remember what the other one was, Evan. Didn't last even like a fraction, even a fraction as long as these. So uh, we'll see once how this one goes here. But uh, yeah, I've been really happy with these here so far. And then on the grinder, oven, I also have a dust kit as well. So highly recommend you get this. Um, if you don't have this on your oven, this is going to be, <laughs> like you're not even going to be able to see in the room, Evan. There's going to be so much dust. But uh, get yourself a vacuum kit. I just got a knockoff kit here off of Amazon. Uh, and that actually is the uh, kit right there, the uh, Kipstall AG22. So if you're curious here, if you happen to have this exact uh, grinder here, this kit does fit this one here. And uh, most of these dust kits, when they're like universal. They'll fit like most of your grinders. There's probably a few exceptions, but they, in generally speaking, will fit all your grinders out there. You might just have to, you know, uh, finagle a little bit to get it on there. But highly recommend this one. This will cut the lath and plaster. And, and we're going to cut all the way through oven. We're not just going to cut the plaster. We're going to cut the lath as well. The lath are the boards, by the way. Uh, so we're going to cut all the way through that. Uh, so, and of course, we got this hooked up to a vacuum here. So let the vacuum run. That'll take care of the dust. Speaking of the vacuum oven, make sure you use a dust bag in there. Don't just uh, have a filter. You will want a bag inside of your vacuum. That is critical. Just uh, pop it up here so you folks can see. So, like I said, Got an empty, that's actually a brand new bag in there. Just empty this out here for the start of this. Again, make sure, make sure you have a bag oven. Otherwise your vacuum will not, will not be able to handle the dust that will be coming off this here. And uh, again, there will be a lot of dust and uh, it'll basically just instantly plug your filter and your vacuum won't be able to do anything. So again, have a bag oven, that is critical. And then of course, again, I'm using the uh, DeWalt. This is the 60 volt angle grinder oven. Um, we're gonna need a lot of batteries, I mean, like uh, we're gonna suck through those batteries probably in about a half hour. That, that's how fast 
we are going to be going through batteries. Uh, this is like, I guess, really hard to cut apparently. So this thing is going to be forking down them batteries like you wouldn't uh, believe. Uh, from what I remember in the living room, I, mean, I think I made like four or five cuts, brand new battery. Four or five cuts, brand new battery. And then for cuts, Evan, it's pretty much up to you how much spacing you want. I'm probably going to go, I don't know, like six to eight inches, that one. And we're going to cut it both vertically and horizontally. Uh, so it makes it nice and easy to uh, throw away and haul off that way. Um, you could, and I've done this, Evan, when I first started, I just did the uh, vertical cuts. That works pretty good, that one. But if you do the horizontal cuts too, it just it makes it so much easier. You just like pull, yeah, way way easier. I would highly recommend that, doing it that way. So anyway, let's uh let me uh, shut up here. Let's uh, get started, everyone. Fire up the vacuum here. I'll set the camera up, and we're gonna start cutting. Well, bummer, but just a couple cuts short here, being able to uh, finish this here. I ran out of batteries here. <laughs> There's all the 60-volt uh, batteries I think I have. Anyway, I can go look. Maybe I've got one more somewhere yet of one, but those are all dead. The uh, the red one there, unfortunately, I only got a couple cuts out of that one. That one must not have been fully uh, charged. If that one had been fully charged, I probably would have been able to at least finish this uh, the, the walls in this room. Anyway, that was kind of my goal. But yeah, I got this all wall almost done here. Got this wall done. And then, like I said, just a couple cuts left on that wall yet. Now, of course, we're going to come back and do the ceiling here at some point as well. And that might not be this video. I'm not sure yet. Well, yeah, probably won't be because I'm going to have to recharge the batteries. Uh, I'm probably going to start uh, tearing some of this down here now as well. I was wearing a face mask here, one, but uh, to be honest, probably almost didn't really need one. Uh, I probably would have worn one of my lighter cloth masks, Evan, but I had the safety glasses on, and those have a tendency you know, to fog up your safety glasses or you don't get that with this one. So that's why I was wearing this one here. But there's some 
no noticeable dust here in this room. Nice thing about that uh, vacuum there, but it just yeah sucks up 99% of it. I don't know if you've seen when I first started that one, I started in the wrong direction, so it was like throwing dust. I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Oh, gotta flip the grinder around. Uh, so yeah, the grinder did an excellent job, Evan. Like I said, if you're looking to remove lath and plaster, I think this is probably the easiest way. Now, I was planning on doing the horizontal cuts there, like I mentioned in the video. I don't think I'm going to do that here. I don't think I need to. Uh, we'll see once how it goes here. This, uh, this plaster is breaking apart very easily. Uh, when I was downstairs, I'm doing the living room and dining room. That plaster was not breaking apart. So that's why I was doing the horizontal and the vertical cuts. But I think I can get away with just vertical cuts here. I mean, at least that's what I'm hoping. So, yeah, I'm going to go recharge some batteries here, I mean, and then we're probably going to start tearing some of this off here. Real quick, maybe I'm talking about the batteries here. Why don't I just use a corded grinder then? I've got a couple of corded grinders. I mean, I could uh, definitely do that. Uh, two reasons. One, I've only got, well, I actually got two outlets up here. They are all tied on the same circuit with everything else upstairs, by the way, which is also tied in with the kitchen. So I very much doubt I mean, I could run this and the vacuum at the same time. So I'd have to like drag an extension cord up here and I'm not a big fan of running extension cords on grinders. I suppose I could for the vacuum, that wouldn't be so bad. But uh, yeah, those grinders tend to fork down some power. As you can see by my bucket of batteries here, I'm gonna go recharge. And then also I just like this grinder. This is, uh, yeah, powerful. It just, uh, it cuts out I and mean, it's got, yeah, I don't know, it's just a really nice grinder. So compared to my corded ones, I prefer this one. slightly better than hammering away at it. Oh yeah. A little bit faster. Oh yeah. I did all that damage in what? Okay, we got most of one wall completed here. Definitely takes a little bit of time here just to pull that off. And then again, I'm not going very quickly. I'm just kind of taking my time, trying not to stir it up here too much. I'm also separating the wood here from the plaster. Uh, just saves on dumpster space that way. And you know, if I throw all this in the dumpster here, I'm gonna have twice as much, well, almost twice as much dumpster space, right? The wood takes up almost as much space as the plaster. Not quite, I've got five buckets of plaster here to four buckets of wood, so. Oh yeah, still got to do along the top yet. I got to do along the bottom here yet as well. I'm just going to keep uh, working my way around here. I'm not sure how much room I have left here yet. So this might be it, Evan. I'm not sure. I'll go uh, empty this here a minute and uh, we'll see once how much more we can get rid of. Okay, Evan, I think we got room for maybe one, maybe two more buckets here in the uh, trash yet. I've got one full yet. I just finished cleaning this wall off here a minute. Now I'm going to move on to uh, this wall here. We'll start uh, destructing this one here, see how far we get. Uh, at the very least, I'm going to figure once I have the trash can full, I can at least uh, fill up what buckets I can here as well. So uh, we can at least keep working. Hopefully we can at least get this wall done. And uh, we'll see once maybe even get into this wall. I'm not exactly sure yet. Well, and the trash has to go out tonight, so yep. that'll empty it out real quick. Yep, so then we can actually tomorrow we can fill it up again. Perfect. So yeah, oh boy, Evan, we're making progress here. <laughs> Thank you. 
because there's no this room is freezing. But the other bedroom is just this cold. Maybe. Oh, I had to mention the electrical in here. One, I was looking at this here a minute. This looks like obviously it was probably I don't know if it was original. Possibly original. I don't know. I mean, if it was original, I think they would have stapled it in here, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little bit uh, newer than original. But anyway, but uh, this is obviously older wire here. So back in the day, obviously the only electrical they had in this room was literally lights. This is that old, I hate this wire. I hate this wire. This, uh, I'd rather deal a knob and tube than this wire, to be honest. Evan. But uh, yeah, this old black, uh, yeah, it's just... You, you touch that stuff and it kind of starts to disintegrate. Or my, right here, it's not so bad. But, oh, and speaking of watch, uh, now you can see Evan right there. Just got into it a little bit when we were uh, cutting the lath there. You can see it just touched the uh, sheeting there. So, but yeah, no damage, fortunately. And then over here, Evan, this obviously is a little bit newer wire. This wire is not quite as bad to work with. Still don't like working with it, but uh, it's a little bit better. Apparently, they added this at a later date here. So, yeah, kind of interesting to see, Evan. Back in the day, obviously... There was no power up here, Evan. Like, no power. <laughs> uh, that is also ran from this wire, by the way. It loops up over the top and uh, comes down over there. Uh, so that's where that is coming from. But yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, apparently, back in the day, this was literally the only power they had up in this room was from right there. Like, wow, no power up here. <laughs> different times, Evan. Different times. Well, Evan, we got two walls that are pretty much uh, done here. I think that's going to about do it here for this uh, video. And then, like I mentioned here a few moments ago, we're pretty much full on space here as well for throwing this stuff away. So we'll have to wait a couple days here once the uh, trash is emptied out. Then we start uh, filling it up here again. Uh, we still have one more full wall to go yet, plus you know lots of little bits and pieces up along the top, plus the entire ceiling. Again, Evan, the ceiling is going to go as well. Uh, it is really cold out at the moment, though, Evan, so that's why I'm starting with these... Uh, well, either the wall that is insulated here, although this section is not, it, it's kind of sort of insulated behind there, though. And then also the interior wall here, Evan, so, you know, I'm not too worried about uh, insulation, you know, with that, right? But, uh, yeah, the ceiling, Evan, kind of waiting for it to warm up here a little bit. Plus, I don't know what's behind this wall. I'm really not... Well, it looks like there's maybe some sort of insulation back there. I see something. Oh, yeah, okay. There's our answer. We've got some sort of pink insulation, so there's something back there, at least. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, you know what? Well, I'm holding on to this seven. For those of you who have never seen a lath and plaster before, this is, of course, lath and plaster, as I already mentioned. Uh, the lath is the boards here. And then, of course, you got the plaster that is slapped on top of said boards. And uh, basically, the way this hangs on here, one, you can see they squeeze the plaster so it overhangs the lath there. And that's kind of what holds it on. It really, you know, probably back in the day, I mean, it probably does stick to the boards a little bit. But really at this point, Evan, once it's aged, the only thing that holds it on is these little uh, like cleats that go over the lath there. And yeah, obviously once that all comes loose, Evan, it, the plaster just doesn't hold up, right? You know, amazing probably back in the day when you actually had like a finished wall, right? But uh, nowadays, yeah, it's, lath and plaster just needs to go away. Uh, plaster by itself, everyone, isn't so bad. Uh, in fact, down in some of the other rooms in the house and like the ceiling in the house, and, and I don't know why they did it different, everyone. Uh, like we can look at the ceiling in here. So this would be the ceiling downstairs. I don't know if you can see it or not. But down here, when they've got plaster board with plaster on it. Uh, that is still kind of a somewhat of a modern technique yet. But uh, yeah, here it's lath and plaster. And then the ceiling here is lath and plaster. Again, I don't know why uh, the difference here. Ceiling up here, lath and plaster. Uh, main floor of one and I don't know about the entire main floor, but at least the in the dining room and living room It is lath and pl or not. It's a uh, plaster board with a plaster kind of weird Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up. Evan. Uh, thanks for watching you folks have any comments or questions Be sure to uh, leave them down below and as always Evan. Thanks for watching until next time